Hey guys, today we're gonna to be building a bar. What's up guys, DIY Savage Guy here, and on this channel, we just learn as we go. Today's episode, we're going to be building a DIY type bar in my basement. No blueprints, all in the head. So we're just gonna hop into this, let me know what you guys think about it and how it came out. Subscribe down below, please comment, like, share with your friends. Thanks for being here guys, hope you enjoy. guys today we're going to be building a bar so our first step in this is what we did we kind of messed it all out what we're going to be doing so I just want to give you guys kind of a little look at this real quick so this is how it's going to lay out so first line here is the actual uh, countertop then we got our center pillar bar counter going back and so I'll give a little bit more detail about this but if you guys are doing this we are doing a DIY design so we're going to kind of just put this all together and see how it goes So I want to give a quick overview of what we did here guys. So we started with the base and so we have the floor models and that's the entire support for the bottom and then we have to build up. So when you're building up you need to support the entire thing. So we're going to be putting a countertop here. It's a two foot Formica countertop. So it's going to hang over. So this is about let's just say six inches two by six. So it'll be here. And we're going to hang over about a foot and then we're going to hang over back this way a little bit as well about eight inches or so six to eight inches something like that and so then what we're going to do down here is we're going to put a nice set of a countertop up here so the countertop is going to have we're going to put a sink probably put a sink here um, then what we're going to do is put a counter here sink here and this should be pretty nice once we're all said and done with this guys so but we are out of wood what we're gonna do is gonna provide a little bit extra support here I don't think we need it but we're gonna put it in there anyway so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, pieces here and we're just gonna drill these together for added support and do the same thing here same thing here and the same thing here that way we are completely stable and we're going to do the same thing that we did over here on the other side and this will more or less act as a shelf and we'll be good with that so it'll be a little tricky with this uh, hopefully it'll line up but we'll we'll make do with what we have to do if we need to move this over a little bit we will no big deal since we're not going to put a shelf in this side um, but coming together really nice here guys 
this is pretty secure now um, because we have this stabilized. The other side is not as stable yet because we're still missing a piece. But we're going to get all this done um, next couple days. Um, we'll keep throwing this together. So stay with me, guys. Hope you enjoy this uh, DIY type bar setup. All right, quick update guys. This is still a work in progress. We tried to make the measurements as good as we could. Um, we didn't do too well. So you guys see the gap here. <laughs> didn't work out. For so we got some trim here and maybe we'll make this all flush and nice and we'll be good with that. So, but this is looking pretty good here guys. So we got, you know, we're flush all here. We got a little bit of gap there. We just probably have to unscrew some screws there. We still have to screw this in. And so this is what we're looking at from the back and down here. So you guys see it all. So we still need to build this up a little bit and throw some shelves down there, something like that. Um, we're probably gonna put a sink either here or here, right in the middle. And on the end, we'll have a shelf, we'll have a shelf. And back here, we have this sweet cabinet we got on Facebook Marketplace, super awesome. And we got our fridge from uh, our, co our college days, you know, super old, but still works. And we're gonna put a kegerator right here and have a nice free flowing beer. Let me know what you guys' favorite beer is, because that's awesome. And we're gonna make the most of this, guys. So this is, this is how we're looking right now. Back from the distance, we got a nice bar. It's gonna look awesome. We got the lights right above, we can dim them. Uh, we got a liquor closet, so that's gonna be cool as well. So we're gonna stain this. And we're gonna keep building this. Probably put some LEDs under it, make it really nice looking. And we're gonna make this, this bar is gonna be super awesome. It's not gonna be perfect, um, but it's gonna fit our needs. And you guys know me from this channel, DIY Salvage Guy. And we're gonna make this, like I said, not perfect, but it's gonna suit our needs and we're gonna keep learning as we go. All right guys, so 
Little update, we went to Lowe's and we found this really awesome molding. I think it looks pretty cool, so we're going to use this, we're gonna stain it, but right now we're going to cut the pieces that we need to fit. So we're gonna start with two pieces and see how it winds up looking, and then we're gonna go from there. So we'll start with this and uh, update you guys in a couple minutes. So just want to point out a couple things here guys. So we're going to be installing a sink in our bar as well. And in order to do that, we bought the sink. And the directions say to trace it. And then we have to go in 5 16ths of an inch. So we're going to cut this out here, see what kind of template we have. And then transfer that upstairs to form like a countertop. So we're gonna see if this actually fits. All right, so it turns out we are super far off. Uh, measuring? I guess not. I guess I didn't. Thought it did. But that's okay. I'll take the sauce. Alright, so we're just going to cut the rest of this out with the sawzall. I should do it now. So, now, we got to clean up. Alright, let's give her a shot here, guys. She fits. Looking pretty perfect here, guys. So we're gonna have a nice sink in here. So now that we know that this is good, we got the sink, it'll be a nice drop bucket right below it, because we're not gonna run any plumbing. It's gonna be too difficult. And this will be our nice work area over here, over there, you got the sink in the middle. So this looks good. So let's, uh, I think we can throw some liquid nails on here and screw it in as well. And then this will be a permanent fixture and we'll be good. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to start getting this molding on. So we got the air gun all ready to go. We got the uh, nails and so we're going to start putting those in now. next thing we're going to do is we're going to stain so we are we dropped some uh, sheets down we got some cardboard down and we're going to hit the whole thing with some stain and make this look pretty good so do that now
All right, guys, so now we just have to secure the countertop. We're gonna do that real quick. So we put it in place already, and all we need to do is just screw in from the bottom and just make sure that it's secure, and then we're gonna make sure it's level, and we'll be good with that. And then pretty much all we have to do is just install the sink and throw some silicone on just to caulk it up a little bit, make sure we're all good with that. And uh, we should be pretty much done with this, guys. So um, actually, we're gonna install the lights as well. So. But we're gonna do this real quick. We're gonna get under here and just install this stuff and uh, be done with. All right guys, the last thing we need to do now is caulk. So we're gonna, we threw some tape lines down. We're gonna get it all up in here. And we got another line over here and then around the sink as well. So we're gonna throw a tape line around here as well. That way when we put the uh, sealant down, it'll, be able to just be picked up really easily. So it goes in a time lapse. We're just gonna caulk it real quick and then the bar is pretty much done here guys. So it looks pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Then we're gonna do the lights and uh, we'll keep going. So right before we put the lights on, I want to just give you guys a quick overview. This is how it's looking right now. We got the stain. The trim kind of looks more like a rustic. So I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna um, stain it again. I think it looks pretty nice the way that it is. Got the side, got the countertop, looking good here. We installed the sink, so that's looking good. And all the way over here too, guys. So, looks pretty good. We're going to have a trash can under here, a dump bucket over there. Then we're gonna install two shelves, but we're not doing that today. Um, but this is the way it's gonna look right now. We do have an outlet under there as well, so that's gonna be nice, easy access to that. And we're looking pretty good, so I'm happy with this. So all we have to do is just turn these fans back on and let this stuff dry. And as soon as it's dry, we're gonna install the lights and we'll be done with the bar. All right guys, so we have to do our finishing touches on the bar here. So we might do a couple more things later on, but what we're gonna do right now is we're going to start with these LED strips. Um, I've seen a lot of good things with these. Uh, apparently all the kids think it's a rave right now. So and we're going to set these up, get some lights under here. I think it'll come out pretty nicely. And the first thing we're gonna do is just test them out, make sure they all work. There shouldn't be any issues or anything like that. But we'll test it out, make sure they work, make sure they light up. And then we're going to install them. So what we're gonna do is see how many we have, but I do wanna get like a nice light scheme under here under the bar itself and down around the back around the back of the bar and i also want to go up around the back as well and maybe even do an entire strip along the basement i'll show you guys the whole thing when we're all done but right now we're just going to do that and what we also have is so you bought a fireplace it came in something just like that um as a similar kind of look so what we want to do, I'm still deciding on it or not, is I might, let's see. I might cut this out right here and kind of install the fireplace right in here and make it so that we have another heat source in here as well. I think it might be pretty nice. I think the, the look of this fireplace is pretty cool. And I think having a second one might be uh, something that might set the bar off a little bit more. But we're going to see how it looks with the lights first. And we're going to get started on that. All right, so we're just going to test these real quick. Make sure that they work. So they light up, change the colors. 
Got all nice different colors right now. All of them seem to work. Pretty nice. And side note, pretty cool. So <laughs> they actually put this uh, good luck giveaway card. First prize is get one more for free. Second prize is 30% off. Third prize is 20% off. Now, I was definitely expecting to get third prize, 20% off, kind of, you know, get another one, and, you know, buy another thing so we can make a little more money. But I actually won first prize. So I'm going to have 130 feet worth of these lights. So we are going to have a lot of fun with these guys. Um, we're going to make this basement look awesome because we're going to have so much of these. So we're going to get these set up right now and we're going to order another one of these. And I think it's going to be really nice down here. Give you guys a quick shot. So we got them all around the bar real quick. All nice different colors. Looks pretty good. Then when we get our new one, we will check it out with the... We'll run the rest of them because the way that I ran it, it's not going to work. But it looks good right now. So very happy with that. What do you guys think? That's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. A little different than what we normally do here, but we enjoyed it. Put a bar together with a DIY type plan. We just had a vision, we did it, we bought the wood, and it didn't come out perfectly, but it came out the way that we expected it to, and we really, really like it. So let me know what you guys think. How did it come out? Comment down below. Subscribe, like, thanks for being here. Hopefully you guys will be inspired by this. Just pick up a wrench, buy a bar, do what you need to do. Just try to become a DIY savage guy yourself.